Today, in this video, I'm gonna share with you my tips on how to get your dream job in the sports photography or videography industry. What is up everyone, my name is Pete. I make vlogs on this channel from time to time and I also make these tutorial videos from time to time. If you haven't been around or haven't seen any of my videos before, I'm a videographer for Major League Baseball Visual Content Creator and I've worked for Georgia Athletics for the last four years. I'm about to graduate in May. And last summer, I also worked for DC United as a videographer. I'm gonna try and lay this out for you guys in an easy way to understand and kind of make, to maximize the value for the viewer, for you guys watching behind the camera. So my first step, kind of getting a job in the sports photography or videography industry is to one build your portfolio you have to have a portfolio to get into this industry and what I mean by that is you need to go shoot as much as possible whether it be your high school girls basketball team or your guys lacrosse team in high school or it's your club rugby team or club hockey team in college if you want to get into this industry you have to have a portfolio and you're gonna be doing this stuff for free don't expect to be paid straight off the bat you have to kind of going with an open mind, knowing that you're gonna do a lot of this stuff um, with no reward. And I guess that's not true because the reward is kind of the opportunity and getting yourself better. And, and with all of these opportunities comes a chance for you to learn and inc improve your skills as you go forward into the industry. My second tip how to get into all this is to really concentrate your work somewhere and network when you do build up your portfolio to a place where you think it's appropriate to start reaching out to people and stuff like that. What I mean by concentrate is it's not really the best wording I chose, but <laughs> I mean by putting it in a medium or a platform on a platform where people can go and see it. So usually that would be Instagram. Um, you can use a website too. I wouldn't recommend that. You can have one as a backup in addition to an Instagram, but Instagram is probably the, the prime driver in this entire industry, this creative industry of sports photography and videography. It's so reliant on the social channels, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, whatever it be. You need to have a place where people can go look at your photography or videography that you've been doing when you're building up your portfolio. When you get to that point, when you get it everything set up, you need to go network. You need to go reach out to other photographers or videographers in your area. Maybe it's with your rival high school or your rival school. You need to follow those people on Instagram, follow those people you aspire to be, collaborate with them. Maybe you can go shoot rival high schools or rival colleges or whatever it be, knowing a lot of people in the industry will pay off. And down the line, you never know people like that could get you jobs and stuff like that. So my third and final tip, like I said, I'm trying to keep this short and maximize the value for you, but you need to use your resources. You need to go find tangible job offers. So go on LinkedIn, go on Indeed, and go on this place that not a lot of people know about, it's Teamwork Online, and that's where they post everything. Teams, every league, arenas, venues will all post job opportunities there for not just photography and videography, but everyone. So those traditional job sites are not the only way you can find jobs in this industry. Actually, my job right now with Major League Baseball, I got through Instagram. My boss now, one of my bosses now, actually reached out to me. We had followed each other for a long time, and he liked my work and where it was going, so reached out to me and the process went from there and now I'm working for him. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to provide at least some value. Comment below if you have any other questions and of course like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.